Hi there, welcome to another video from the Vickers MG Collection of Research Association. This is a sh just a short video to show you uh, a little bit of kit that we've got in the collection at the moment. Um, yeah, loaned in from one of our members. Support from our members is really key. So, uh, you know, it, it's not just me. Um, there's a group of members now that are uh, you know, supporting the association, uh, putting together items like this um, and loaning them to us so we can maximise the effect of that and uh, you know, show the Vickers in the many different ways that it was used and show the different equipment uh, that was available to the British Army uh, you know, during the Vickers service as well. This is an assault vest, it's an assault jerkin. Now, a lot of people say, you know, it's a modern term, but checking the vocabulary of Army Ordnance stores out, this is jerkin, mountain assault, universal. And it's made to carry uh, two brain gun magazines in the, in the pockets at the front. Uh, this is quite a crisp example. Um, you know, it has the, the toggle mechanism there that can be undone quite easily with gloves, whereas you know, but, buttons can't. Um, so yeah, this is an un unissued condition, absolutely superb. Fit two Bren gun magazines in there um, on each side. And then um, just one with, yeah, so you've got a uh, loop there to enable you to carry the bayonet um, on there as well. Uh, or I suppose um, if you're mounting assault, you might carry your uh, ice axe there. Uh, this example is, we've got marked up H&S, 1943, um, Melton, Menton, not really sure. So, uh, but why uh, would this be in a, we want this in machine gun? Well, apart from it being um, an interesting and desirable piece of equipment. Uh, we have read about the 52nd Lowland Division, so the 7th Manchester's, uh, training with their Vickers machine guns, uh, were using this kit because, well, it was the universal assault vest. So they ended up carrying, um, I think in one side, they had their grenades, and in the other side, they had their revolvers, the number ones and number twos. Nothing more. Yeah, that, that was all they had, but it meant they didn't need webbing. They had their personal equipment with them. It meant that they were then free to wear uh, Everest carrier or um, Bergen on the back because there's nothing on the back, so it makes it nice and uh, nice and easy to do that. Uh, and you know it's uh, yeah interesting that, that, that they carried the pistol uh, their revolver in the front there um, but you know we, we'll put this together and we'll replicate it uh, with the smock and over trousers and things like that and the, and the cap um, and, and some of the other mounting equipment that, that we have uh, available to us and we'll share that as one of our mannequins in the future. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Please support us on Patreon if you're able to and let us know of anything you'd like to see in the future. I look forward to hearing from you.